Hey there Vora Riders, today we're going to be going over how to properly package your scooter for shipping. If you're watching this video, chances are you need to send your electric scooter back to us for a repair, an exchange, or even a refund. We understand that it can be a bit confusing, especially if you no longer have the original box your scooter came in, so that's why we're here to help. First things first, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to request a shipping label from us. To do this, simply reach out to our customer service team via phone or email and provide them with your order number along with the model of your electric scooter. If you're doing a return, you'll need to reach out via email and attach pictures of the model of your scooter. After all details are sorted, they'll send you a shipping label via email within the next 24 to 48 hours. Also, please note that the return labels only apply to domestic customers and not those in Alaska or internationally. Next, you'll need to securely pack your electric scooter for shipping. If you have the original box, great! Use it to pack your scooter along with the original styrofoam. If you're sending in your scooter for an exchange or refund, make sure to also include any accessories that came along with it. If you only have the box, you do have the option to purchase handy foam from us, that way your scooter is properly protected during shipment. Just keep in mind that the amount of handy foam we ship out will depend on the model of your scooter. Now if you don't have the original box either, don't worry, you can purchase a new one directly from us along with the handy foam. Again, just reach out to our customer service team, provide them with the model of your scooter, and they'll get you all sorted out. For this video example, we'll be using the eMove Cruiser, eMove Roadrunner, and the Wolf King GT, along with their original styrofoam. If you have another scooter model outside of these three, don't worry. The way they are put together are very similar, even though every model will have slightly different styrofoam blocks. Once you have your box with you, you'll want to package your scooter securely, like so. Now if you're looking to ship your scooter using handy foam, we recommend covering the top and bottom at minimum, but you'll want to use your best judgment on where to place the foam to protect your scooter during shipment. Keep in mind that this applies to all scooters being shipped with handy foam. For the best protection on the eMove Cruiser, we recommend placing three handy foam blocks on top and three on the bottom, like so.
strongly recommend packing the styrofoam or handy foam as securely as possible, as we are not liable for any damages that may occur from the shipping carrier. Once you've packed your scooter in the box with all the accessories, stick the shipping label to the outside of the box. Make sure it's also securely attached so that all of the information is visible and legible. We recommend taking a photo of the label and tracking number just in case anything happens to the box during shipment. Finally, drop off your package at your nearest shipping carrier. We recommend using UPS and getting a tracking number for your package so you can keep tabs on its whereabouts during shipment. However, if your scooter is too heavy and you would like assistance with scheduling a UPS pickup for your package, we can make the arrangement for you. Simply provide us with a date that works for you after your return has been packaged. Just keep in mind that the UPS pickups can only be scheduled across 5 hour windows of time for any given date. And that's it! Once we receive your electric scooter, our team will inspect it, contact you, and provide you with the next appropriate steps. If you have any questions or comments about shipment or how to package your scooter, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for choosing Boral Motors, and we'll see you next time.